another week of training. The emphasis of the day continues to be the over-under passing. There were a couple moments where I had some leg locks, which I'll be working more in the future. But since that over-under position, I can't really get to leg locks. They will have to take a break for now. And then always looking to change levels, grab that single leg. The best move of the day was actually your anaconda. There was an anaconda in a scramble. I thought it was a darce, but it was actually a beautiful anaconda with a little arm trap with the legs at the same time. You'll see that today. First takedown attempt of the day, well defended, a good sprawl, and then looking for underhooks, but you did a really good job stripping and getting away. Your first attempt of the day, really good entry. Could've gone for the back there. Amazing reflexes here. This would usually get most people. This foot sweep and then you float right on top of it. Beautiful, keeping your hips square. Just great defense on that one. Just be careful with that elbow. As soon as I can get underneath it, I'll attack this single and then we get into the passing sequences of the day. Right here, looking for that dog bar pressure if not going around to the other side, but you do a really good job recovering your shins in front of me, then the biceps. Now I have to reconsider everything. I'm trying to get underneath this leg using my weight, but this off balance is really good. And then I'm trying to do a little knee cut here, but that butterfly hook is really good of keeping the distance. Just a quick takedown when our feet are close together. We have a mirrored stance, so our feet are gonna always be close to each other. If I can touch your feet with my feet, 
I'm going to be able to reach down and attack that single leg. So just be careful when I'm stepping my foot closer to your foot, that's what I'm going for. And then here, I'm just going for a little body lock passing here. But we did a trade. I thought I could grab your wrist, but you got your shin in front of me. So then I have to reset. First leg lock attempt of the day. I could have spun really hard, but I didn't have a really good purchase. Then you put this into kind of a crucifix position. And then here is where I try to escape my head and get on top, but you do the perfect hip heist and get on top of me. This is the best scramble and I think the best move of the day because I had really good position on that bottom leg but you're able to weave your hand in that perfect anaconda with the arm trap. Really nice work, really nice work. Almost got that foot sweep, but then I just launch into a double, sell out completely. Figured I'd be able to recover my guard from here. And then a nice little Uchimata here to get me off balance. That definitely put me on my back, so I had to reconsider. And then this deep half sweep, I tried to go for it, but you were able to catch the leg at the perfect time and get this knee bar, beautiful. I'm noticing it's just hard to stop if I can get underneath your hands and just launch myself safely at your leg and then get behind your ankle, get behind the knee. Not a good strategy in a good fight, but that was so nice. You almost got me completely with that little leg hook. Just a little mistake passing your leg over and then getting your leg trapped. All of my weight is on that knee, so you really can't move. And then I'm just camping here until I can get the howdy. Good entry, read and response. You saw that I got my hips in front of you and you ditched position. Great defense. Really nice entry into this takedown. Turn the angle, double leg transition. That's actually a GSP transition. Nice, nice takedown. I had a good purchase on the neck here but I couldn't connect my hands. You did a good job defending that, but I'm able to get that underarm reverse Kimura grip with that one hand, and then you roll through, but I trap your wrist on my groin, and then I have the Tarika Plata here. I think this is actually a Barada Plata. Once practice, I'll go for the Iminari roll, but you get you keep your legs so far away from me, I can't get it. So I ditch into the deep half sequence.
black belt details. That little weird lock you got on my arm so I couldn't get out. And then I thought I was in a good position to pass here, but then you pass your arm into a beautiful arm bar. Really nice move. That might have been the nice move of the day, actually. Another example of this is why this is jujitsu. That would have been a tech or a takedown in wrestling, but in jujitsu is a perfect reversal. And then into this Jedi mind trick position that you get out of, but then I press the advantage to get up on a single leg, then press the advantage for the underhook, then get in behind you. So the key detail here was patience and then this little crab ride. I didn't know where your ankle was, so I'm able to hook that foot and then stay in behind you so you can't recover guard. The arm triangle was there because I had my head on your shoulder, but you were concerned with the arm triangle. So I grabbed that far arm, could have finished with the Kimura, but then decided to go with the arm bar finish. Really good training this week. Some really nice moves from you, reading and responding. See you next week.